Hello, I'm Francis Abgood. I'm the Chief Constable of Thames Valley Police. Thank you for expressing an interest in the Chief Inspector promotion process. I suppose the first thing to cover is uh, what I am looking for in terms of my Chief Inspectors. And the honest answer is there is no single format. But actually what I want is somebody who has understood what that step up is from an inspector. Just because you might be a very good inspector, doesn't mean that you're automatically going to make a good chief inspector and it's really important that you understand what that step up is. So that you're able to say why are you ready now and why are you also wanting to apply for a role in Thames Valley Police. And clearly in terms of the skills that I'm looking for for my chief inspectors it links in very much to the vision that I have for the organisation and I've just launched our commitment which sets out what it is that we are going to do uh, for the public and also how we're going to do it. And I would encourage you to have a look at, at the commitment. It sets out the key responsibilities of policing, but also some of the skills at, that we are going to expect from our, our people. So about having a skilled and trusted workforce, for example. So there should be enough in that commitment for you to be able to, to look at um, what it is that we do and how we do it. But I think the other key touchstone for you to refer to, of course, is the Code of Ethics, which actually talks about the values, and they're incredibly important, not just in Thames Valley, but across all of policing. So make sure you refer to those two documents when you think about whether you're ready for, for what we need in Thames Valley. So just in terms of some of the key challenges that we're facing, again, they're not too dissimilar to many parts of policing. We are going through a period at the moment of significant operational demand particularly in the investigative side uh, and actually those investigative resources are going to be so important in the future but but they have to be, we have to be thinking about where the new challenges are going to be so a lot around complex cl crime and also how we protect the most vulnerable in our society but do so by working with our, our key partners. Also some organisational challenges um, it's how we embrace new technology and I want people who are prepared to innovate to transform but also to think about the cultural change that is going to be so important if we're going to make the most of all of the technology changes and business changes um, across the organisation. And finally, of course, the financial challenges. Although we got a really good settlement um, last year, that doesn't mean that austerity is not here to stay. It absolutely is. And I want people who really understand about, about the business, and about what adds value and how we understand actually what, what really adds value to the public, but also what the cost is of some of those services. So you have to have some business ideas um, in terms of, of thinking about policing. So just finally, let me cover some of the capabilities. Now, of course, you're going to go through um, an, an interview process and a selection process which is competency based. But just thinking about some of the capabilities that we need in policing at the moment, we are very much a people-centred people organisation. So being able to care for people, support people, and actually provide clarity and confidence at a time of significant change is, will be really important. Being able to deal with um, issues of poor performance as well, but, but equally to get the most out of all, all of our people, to be able to inspire them and develop them is going to be absolutely crucial. Thinking about some of the, the organisational challenges, again, thinking about technology and about how we embrace, how we innovate, how we encourage people across the organisation to come up with ideas as to how we're going to do things in the future, and to think about actually how we make the, res the most of the limited resources. Problem solving will be really important for the future. It's really important that we actually think about how we make the most of the finite resources that we have, but also the resources that our other partners have, whether that's in emergency services or whether it's other statutory partners or whether it's within the public sector, the broader community. Really important that we think about all of those resources. And I would want people who are able to work collaboratively, but also sometimes actually give up some of the power that we might have for the greater good. That decision making is another core capability that, that I would expect to be able to see and, and will be tested both in operational scenarios but also organisational scenarios. And just in terms of that operational, I, I would expect anybody who's going through these processes would be a competent and credible operational commander because again that is something which is so important at, at that level in the organisation, indeed any level. 
And the final point I want to make is just about managing upwards. As a chief inspector in Thames Valley, uh, the areas of responsibility that you have are much broader, of course, but actually I want you to be a key part of the management team across the organisation. So I would expect you to be influencing upwards and have the confidence to be able to come up with the ideas, challenge where is appropriate at every level in the organisation. You're a key contributor to the Senior Leaders Forum and so I would expect you to have started to evidence actually how you do that already in your current role but also to talk about actually how you will be able to do that for the benefit of Thames Valley. Good luck and thank you for expressing an interest.